Hello, my name is Hilton Hammond and welcome to the third and final part in the series of ABCs of portable oscilloscopes. We've covered a lot of ground. Now that we have gone over waveform issues and disturbances, the question becomes how do I capture those random once in a lifetime events? Get to know your digital storage oscilloscope. They include many features or functions that can make this task easy. In this part of the presentation, we will cover key features found in the 190 series oscilloscope. The Fluke 190C or 225 series oscilloscopes include a unique 100 screen replay mode, which automatically records the last 100 screens on a first in, first out basis. Replay mode captures the last 100 screens over time, if a once in a lifetime anomaly occurs. The user can stop the scope to go back and review the captured screens. The captured event can then be analyzed to determine if it is the root cause. Say for example a transient occurred. The peak voltage can be measured. Quantifying the problem can make the difference between guessing it is a problem or not. You have about 10 seconds of buffer before the first screen is flushed out. Single shot capture is a great tool to capture once off events without having to be around to see it. You basically arm the scope. Wait for the trigger condition to occur, then after coming back to the scope, any event that occurred will be captured and frozen on screen. Again, capturing and quantifying events can make the difference between guessing or not. Set up the oscilloscope as follows. Firstly, we want to set the vertical sensitivity, making sure that the expected amplitude of the waveform will be within the vertical range of the scope. Set the horizontal time base to capture the desired time span of the unknown waveform. Next, set the trigger mode to single shot capture. Then adjust the trigger level to just beyond the signal noise floor or at 50% of the expected waveform amplitude. The scope is now armed, waiting for the next occurrence of the event. Once captured, the scope will freeze until the trigger display update is manually rearmed. Often a signal will change slowly over long periods of time, commonly referred to as signal drift. Circuits are often influenced by change in environmental conditions. The problem is you will have to sit around for hours or even days to see the change. The Fluke portable oscilloscopes include the trend plot mode that essentially behaves as a digital strip chart pen recorder. It will trend any automatic scope or meter measurement the sample rate is around 4 to 5 measurements per second. Setup is easy. Simply set up the scope meter in scope mode or meter mode. Turn on the desired measurements of interest. Then go to trend plot mode and let the scope record the measured values for minutes, hours or even up to 16 days. The algorithm is designed to always capture and retain the extremes of measured values. While recording, the scope meter will go through a compression algorithm that compresses the data while still retaining the minimum and maximum recorded values. That way you will always see the extremes of measurement changes over time. Scope record mode is similar to trend plot in, it, in that it records data over time. The difference between scope record mode, it records the waveform sample points over time instead of the automatic measurements. The key difference being scope record will capture data at a much faster sample rate, thereby significantly increasing the sample resolution. It's a great tool for capturing waveforms during a startup process or inrush currents at turn on of a motor, for example. Scope record mode emulates the roll mode found in the old analog scopes. It operates at a time base setting from 5 milliseconds per division to 2 minutes per division and has enough memory to store samples for as long as 48 hours. The sample rate in scope record mode is 20 mega samples per second, capturing events as fast as 50 nanoseconds, giving you a high resolution waveform recorder. Again, eliminate the guesswork by capturing an event, then analyzing the magnitude to determine if it is truly a problem or not.
Pass-fail testing uses a known good waveform as a reference to create an envelope. With the reference envelope, the Fluke 190 series or 220 series of scope meter can be set up to capture the waveform in the event any sample point falls outside or within the predefined reference envelope. All the pass or fail waveforms are stored in the 100 screen replay memories giving you a 100 screen buffer of either pass or fail events. Setting up pass fail is fairly straightforward. First capture the known good waveform, then create the reference envelope by shifting the waveform by the desired amount of pixels to create a tolerance level. Save this waveform to memory, then recall the screen as a reference waveform. Use the waveform options reference menus to activate the pass fail testing. The pass fail options are store on pass or store on fail. Sit back and watch the scope store failures to the replay memories. Capturing disturbances or even analyzing behavior of dynamic waveforms is especially difficult without a way of being able to see the waveform dynamic change over time. Modern day digital storage oscilloscopes with liquid crystal displays emulate the persistence of an analog cathode ray tubes otherwise known as CRTs. These CRTs have a coating of phosphor that naturally glows for a short period of time, giving the appearance of persistence. The digital scope uses a pixel shading algorithm to emulate persistence. Whenever a waveform sample point activates a display pixel, the persistence algorithm keeps the pixel active, but varies its shade over time at each display update. It changes from dark to light, eventually fading away. The degree of persistence can be varied from short, medium, long, or to infinite, which is essentially an envelope capture mode. The concepts and te techniques presented here can be found in the Fluke range of portable oscilloscope. The Fluke scope meters vary from 20 MHz to 200 MHz, with enough performance and features to tackle a wide variety of routine measurements or even extreme tasks such as finding random events. Our oscilloscopes are specially designed to operate in harsh environments, out of a lab and away from the bench. On behalf of Fluke Corporation, I thank you for your support and interest in our test tools.